But one thing about our soulmate clients that we don't often talk about is these kind of uh, one night stand Tinder date groomer, you know, grooming excursions that we have. Now, I guess that sounds kind of dirty and everything, but sometimes these don't feel good, right? They feel like that. It's that person that calls you and they're like, hey, how much, you know, for my dog to be groomed? They don't want to know your name. They don't really care anything about your business, anything like that. All they want is to come in, get groomed, get serviced, and never speak again. You know, they don't want to pre-book. They don't want to rebook. You don't know if you'll ever see them again. It's kind of this kind of like dirty feeling, isn't it? These people like kind of feel like they use you. They obviously don't use you because you charge your worth, right? But they're not the best clients. They're really not. And it's amazing to me that people often, I should say people, groomers often try to seduce and try to get these people to come back. And they never ask themselves, is this person a quality person? Is it, are they a quality client that I want to come back over and over and over again? A lot of times they're just not. They're just the kind of person that is there to fill your schedule and not somebody you want to come back forever. 